see the paint strip has done a bit of work there using a plastic scraper only I try to then peel as much as I can so if you've done this task before you know that it's a little bit time consuming but it's fine so we're slowly removing the paint so that's the true under color, undercoat colour and then you had this uh, light grey and then on top of that you had the green and that light grey and green is just peeling off very very easily probably a rattle can spray job you can see here but also the undercoat is also coming out as well so I'm going for a patina look at the moment anyway I might put it on and decide I don't like it but um, I'm kind of finding this quite funky at the moment so I'll leave that as it is I've already cleaned up the three lights so looking a lot better than what they were and now I'm going to start working on on the switch basically when I say working on it effectively just pulling it apart cleaning it re-oiling it and putting it back together again pretty much Pop goes away, so we go. Right, so I think I've broken down the components as far as I could. I mean, I, I know that you can um, further break this one down, but I'll leave it as it is. And so we've got little tiny bits like that. That's the bracket that goes with that. So uh, I think the way it goes is obviously this makes contact in the back. This here is to obviously prevent, I think it's to prevent short, a short occurring because this spring goes on the top like that. So as far as I'm aware that it goes like that, I, I can't actually find any diagrams online about how these things go. So I'm trying to use common sense, although I still got the original one on the, on the Rover, the switch, so I can always pull that apart and confirm it. And of course, then I've got to put this back into the into this that section there which is where I believe it goes so I'll see if I can put it back together so I'm going to put a dab of grease where the spring is and see if the ball will play ball okay so there it is there Skip over that. Come on, don't do that, don't move. Put a bit of pressure on. Come on. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Yay! I think I've got it. Now I'll screw that in there. You can hear that. Wait. And that's fine as well. So I'll continue on. I'll put the other bits and pieces in there as I think they should go. Now you'll see in there there's three slots. Those obviously three slots correspond to, as I said beforehand, these three tabs. So it prevents it from moving, I guess. Now it's just a matter of kind of trying to locate all that. And there you go, it sits like that nicely. And let's hope it 
spin this around until we and there we are in beautiful now I'm just going to press these tabs in maintaining pressure while I'm doing this Beautiful. 